The world of electric vehicles can sometimes seem like it comes with its own vocabulary, and that's where we come in. Look out for our ABC of EV series to demystify the words and phrases you'll hear. And if you haven't checked out our previous video on direct current, we'll put a link to that in the notes below. In that video, we explained how direct current is used to charge your car and how it's stored in a battery. But today, it's the turn of AC. Welcome to the ABC of EVs. A is for alternating current. And if you like this video, remember to hit subscribe and you'll never miss a show. AC power, or alternating current, is the type of electricity available on power grids. And you might ask why power grids don't use DC. After all, it's the way that our cars store energy. Well, it's because it's much more efficient and cheaper to transmit power over long distances all around the country using very high voltages in alternating current. This overcomes the losses due to the resistance in the cables. An alternating current, unlike DC, is also able to use transformers. That means the high voltage, the very high voltage power that is being distributed on those high power lines can be stepped down to something much more useful and safe in our homes once it reaches our local area. And why is it called alternating current. Well, the direction of the current changes many times every second. In the UK, the direction changes every 1 50th of a second. And we use the word hertz to describe that. 50 hertz. In the US, for example, the grid is 60 hertz or 60 cycles per second. So how does all of this apply to electric vehicles? Firstly, let's talk about motors. In EVs, they are AC motors. The motor is assembled of two main parts. There's a stator, which forms the outer part, and the inside is a rotor, which spins, and inside, a magnet. They make the rotor turn inside the stator, producing that torque. But how to make the magnets move? Well, your car uses alternating current on those electromagnets to create a constantly moving north and south pole. The alternating current is creating a magnetic field that turns the motor. Let's talk about AC charging. Well, despite your car storing energy as DC, AC charging is actually the most common way of charging a car. The power from the grid is sent straight into your car. And once inside the car, there's an inverter, which changes it to DC power for the batteries to store. You'll see it referred to as the speed of the onboard charger. It's expressed in kilowatts, but it's not so much a charger, it's a converter. Now, the two factors affecting charge speed are one, the power of the charge point, and two, your car's ability to convert the power. AC chargers range from around 16 amps to 63 amps. That's the equivalent of charging from around three and a half to 43 kilowatts. AC charging posts don't require any special technology to transform the power they're getting from the grid and putting into your car. So the chargers are often cheaper to produce and they can often be free to use for consumers as well. And you know, we talked about inverters. Well, the motor in your EV runs off AC power. When you put your foot on the accelerator, what you're actually doing is changing the frequency of the current to change the motor speed and the amplitude of the signal to change the motor's torque. If you're familiar with piston cars, you'll know that an alternator is part of a combustion car, which requires replacement at times. When you slow down in an EV though, your motor actually becomes an alternator. It produces power and sends it back into the battery. So that's our short guide to what alternating current means for electric vehicles. If you found this useful, please leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up so we know you liked it. And we'll see you on the next one.